the banks of the river Tyne Take me home to the place that I call mine It's a place I love best Cause it's better than the rest Take me home to the banks of the river Tyne There's lights that burn so brightly In the northeast sky they shine From the place that Jody's worship Where legends were number nine You can travel right round the world Even meet the Pope in Rome But nothing beats the feeling That when you come back here to home No matter how life changes We'll never be far apart The North East always home And it's always in your heart Take me home to the banks of the River Tyne Take me home to the place that I call mine Yes, get in, come on We are wow. tonight And uh, I'm joined by Rolly tonight And uh, before we get into the show Because I know we're all chomping at the bit here. If you like what you see, please smash that thumbs up. It takes one second if you can do it now during the show or when you leave the show. That'd be great. Thank you very much indeed. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, then please hit the subscribe free to do so. It helps the channel grow. And that bell notification will tell you when I'm live, have a pre-record, or any upcoming shows. Um, I mean, before I get into the show, let's get into these comments because these comments are really flying in now. And... Uh, well, what an absolute, oh, it's just been a great evening. Evening all says trolls, evening trolls. Gary says, great win tonight, just a shame man, Shite had to win as well, Tony mate. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, evening Tony and Rowley says trolls, evening to you trolls. Trolls says, what a terrible batch of West Ham. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He says, I'm just shocked to be honest. Yeah, Julie says, Oh, what a night. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, what a night. Yes. <coughs> um, indeed, Julie. Uh, Gordon, so you put the link. Not tonight, mate, but I probably will Saturday. Um, Troll says, ESM in fire assist for the second game in a row. Absolutely. Gary says, stand up if you love the tune. Right, okay, I'll stand up, Gary. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Troll says, did we really win 5-1 or am I about to wake up? No, we really did win 5-1, Trolls, honestly, mate. We really did. Um, Gary says, the tune's on fire. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely on fire. Uh, Alan says, team so good tonight. Hitting best form at the right time. So happy watching that. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, Pablo, evening, Tony. What a game. We had to hammer the hammers. Absolutely. Uh, Julie says hi, Tony and Rowley. Hi, Julie. Um, Bamford Sevens. West Ham gifted you two goals. <laughs> yeah, they did, didn't they? Do you know what? If they want to gift drop goals, let them. That's why they're at the bottom end of the table. Sefton, up the yeah. Premiership we go. Absolutely, Sefton. Uh, Ian says hi, Tony and Rowley. Did we win? Yes, we did. That's we it. Hi, that. Tony and Rowley. It's a brilliant morning here, down under. Yeah, absolutely, Matt. Because yeah. he's in the land down under. <laughs> there we are. You see, hey, hey, the tunes are coming out tonight. <laughs> Five one, mate. Up the max Champions League. Here we come. Hey, yeah. we're on that. We're on that uh, trajectory. That's for sure. Yeah. Julie says, "Up the hamsters." <laughs> yes, we did. Julie, didn't we? Just uh, Patrick. Hi to you, Patrick. Sky Sports text come Champions League level. Do you know what? They've got to start yeah. believing it now because that's exactly where we're at. I mean, we, uh, we had a couple of nice. shaky spells, but when we yeah. hit form, we absolutely ripped them apart. Cool. Um, and the, Rip. the thing is, when yeah. it's 3 1, I was thinking, oh, it's a bit harsher on West Ham. And then the rest of the second half, we absolutely ripped them apart. And they were lucky it was only five. Yeah, absolutely. Liam says, nice training session for the boys. <laughs> uh, told you the right back was shite, wasn't it? He, he was terrible, Kira. Yeah, he was. We knew that. <laughs> but yeah, 
Sefton says, I'm on the whiskey. Hey, Sefton, this is my fourth tonight, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, just glass. <laughs> buzzing says, Sefton, yeah, absolutely. We're all buzzing up, but it's just, it's great, isn't it? Reminds uh, me of October. What band you got from me earlier, Sefton? <laughs> Sexy Sefton is bussing off, for God's sake. <laughs> you know what, Jake? If you're in the chat, mate, you've started this now. You've started this, Jake. You really have. Oh, dear. He says, I think I'll go shopping tomorrow, get the bus past the West Ham training ground and laugh at them. <laughs> <laughs> just, if you say West Ham fan, just say what, you know, just say, is it five past one yet? <laughs> <laughs> Derek says, I said someone was due a hammer now. Our passing was atrocious all night, but for a change, our finishing was magic. Isak, hands on hips, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Derek. I mean, the first half, so the first five minutes, West Ham were full on at us. Bruno Nelly scored an own goal, hit the post, thankfully. Um, and they had that first five minutes, but then after six minutes, you get a corner, which, to be fair, Kera is such a he is crap it right back. Honestly, um, he got that ball. Why he headed it out for a corner? I was just like, why is that going out for a corner? He, you know, what's he doing? So heads it out. Trippy gets the corner, puts it, and it comes out ESM on the right. ESM puts a lovely little cross in. Wilson header. Thank you very much. One nil. And that all comes from a defensive mistake from West Ham, giving a corner away. And then, obviously, we go 2-0 up. Joe Linton's goal, I thought, at first, when, oh, the the um, flag went up. I thought, oh, that is offside. But when you see it, the sword still, you see Emerson's actually playing him on side. And it's a huge gap. So it was on side, and it had to be on side. So I put with 2-0 up. Then West Ham had a 15, 20-minute spell where they looked really good and they came back into it. And then, uh, you know, Kurt Zuma scored um, from a header, which Pope didn't get any other ball, unfortunately, and he got the header. Um, so that made it nervy. But we got in the half-time, 2-1 up. And then that gave Eddie the chance to give him a team talk and get everything sorted out, get everybody back to where he wanted them. And then the second half came... And then Aguirre gives away, you know, a stupid mistake. And then that allows uh, Murphy to square Wilson, who puts a ball in the back of the net, makes a 3-1. And we think, oh, right, we're on the way now. Let's not let, let let's not give them a goal back. Let's carry on. And then, you know, we just control that game. Um, and then Fabianski makes one hell of a howler. One hell of a howler. Don't know what he was doing. Gifts it straight to bloody Isak. And Isak, just over the top, in the back of the net, hands on the hips as if to say, job done. Um, great finish from Isak, by the way. And then Joe Linton rounds it off with a shot, which, to be fair, Fabianski probably should have saved. Um, and he didn't. Made a 5-1. By then, their stadium was just about empty. There was only a handful of fans left because you heard, heard the handful of GS at the end. Um, the only thing you could hear the most of was the Newcastle fans singing you're getting sacked in the morning to David Moyes. And you know what? How to stick it to an ex-Macken manager. Just like that, 5-1. <laughs> Take that, you sad Macken bastard. That's exactly what we said. Take that. And the thing is, what a great performance. Yes, the passing wasn't on par, but... We took our chances. And this is what we've needed to do for a long time. Start taking the chances and putting them away instead of putting them over the bar or past the post. Let's stick them in the back of the net. Joe Linton played to the whistle. He took the ball on the keeper, scored. Then he, he, you sort of thought, oh, Joe Linton's realised he's offside as well. And as soon as he saw the, the screen, he sort of changed his mind and thought, oh, hang on a minute, maybe I'm not offside. And... Um, but you know what? It was just great to see that everything we'd done tonight. Um, yes, we had the couple of difficult spells of West Ham, but other than that, I think we controlled that game. And um, all in all, we deserved the win, deserved the three points. And Brentford now, 
will not enjoy us coming there on Saturday afternoon. That is for sure. Um, before I get Rowley's um, comment um, on the game, I'm just going to go into some comments because they're flying in. Um, Joel says, surely it isn't Saki Sefton joking, of course. <laughs> I thought Byrne was on it tonight, off it tonight, but can't complain. Yeah, Jared Bourne outstripped him a few times, didn't he? Uh, David Knight, good evening to you. He says, give me, give me, give me a striker from Sweden. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I better not do this singing because it's terrible, isn't it? Spot on, Derek. Not as bad as mine. <laughs> <laughs> Derek says, break the bank for race. He just need, he's just the next level. He is. But the West Ham fan I had last night reckons he doesn't want to leave London. But let's hope we can persuade him. Maybe Eddie Howe could do a Keegan. Because remember... When Rob Lee came to sign for Middlesbrough, he said, oh, I'm not signing for Middlesbrough because it's too far from London. And when he came to Newcastle, um, he said to Keegan, he says, are we... F-? And, he, you know, when he came to Newcastle, Keegan said, look, Rob, we're close to London. <laughs> and Rob Lee signed for us. Um, what yeah. player he was. So, not, not, yeah, absolutely. So let's hope we can... Eddie Howe might do the same to um, Declan Rice. Uh, Troll says, what sort of whiskey is Sefton? Three monkeys. Mm, nice. I, I've had Jack Daniels fire tonight, by the way, guys, if you're asking what I've had. Alan says, J7 was great. Yeah, absolutely. Gareth says, good evening, both mixed first half, but what a second half. Absolutely, Gareth. But you know what? Somebody was due a hammering, and they've got it. The hammer's got a hammer in. That is for sure. Ian says, can't stand whiskey, prefer Bailey's. That is good. Do you know what, Ian? I love Bailey's as well, mate. That is absolutely beautiful, that drink. I'll, the only problem is, so, Ian, when I drink Bailey's, I knock it back too quick because it's just so nice and I just boom, boom, boom. So I, I, I've got to be careful when I drink that stuff. I, I'll end up drinking a whole bottle of Mongo. Nice malt for special nights, says Sefton. <laughs> absolutely, mate. What kind is it? Oh, you said three monkeys, didn't you? I like um, Glen Fiddick sing, single malt. That's absolutely beautiful, Glen Fiddick. Uh, Rock the Tune was a cracking game. Did a live watch along. Excellent, mate. Excellent, Rock the Tune. What a game. Yes, absolutely, mate. Troll says, really like 24-year-old Shivas Regal, but costs way too much. Yeah, some of these ones are expensive, aren't they? On the monkey shoulder malt, says Sexy Mag, Sefton Mag. <laughs> Do you know what, Jake? You've got a lot to answer for. And if you're in this chat, you've got a lot to answer for, Jake. You've just let that go to Sefton's head now. <laughs> uh, Liam says, Floppy Hansky was awful tonight. Do you know what? He's been awful for a while. Even even the West Ham fan last night did say to me in Rowley, yeah. Leger, he said he has not been great at all. Yeah. Um, big up to Anfield Uncle Rods. Hey, Uncle Rods, hope you're well, mate. He says, uh, Newcastle gave West Ham a hiding lol. Yes, he did, didn't he? Didn't we just? Um I'm not, I think now this puts sort of, I think Liverpool's trying to get into the Champions League is coming to an end now. Uh, Rock the Tune says, have you tried the five apple juice? Yeah, I've had to try that. I wasn't that impressed with it, to be fair. Um, I, I, I wasn't too impressed. Uh, Ian says, me too, Tony. Yeah, I drink it too easy, Bailey's, yeah. Derek says, can took your fire up and cinnamon kick. I think I'll have one myself. <laughs> that sounds nice as well, yeah. I'll tell you what, we've got onto the uh, whiskey snake on here, haven't we? It's great though, isn't it? Uh, Mag says, tune, tune, absolutely. What a result. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, Joe says, that was the best game I've seen for a while. Like, absolutely, Joe. Absolutely, yeah. mate. Definitely. And yeah, Paul says, I'm a form. October, November. A form before the World, a bit like before the World Cup, not playing great, but still beating teams. Absolutely. Definitely, Paul. And, uh, We've just got to carry this on now till the end of the season. That's the thing. And see where we'll finish. Sefton says, I have a thought of me. If you'd like to donate to this channel, I will allow Tony to have it as a background. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Rolly, give me your um give me your short summary of tonight's game and uh yeah. Um we we started slowly because we let West Ham really get at us at the beginning. Um, yeah. um, with Bruno hitting the post, normally scoring an own goal, we sort of scrambled it away. 
And then, uh, so, was it Keres gave away that corner? And what a mm -hmm. delightful ball from uh, ASM uh, for Wilson to head home. And we know how much um, Wilson likes scoring against West Ham. Uh, he scored against them more than any other team, so he got one. Then we started to take control uh, uh, again. Um, lovely ball from Shaft through to uh, Joe Linton. With first thoughts, were always offside, but the moment they put the still photo of him, you knew he was onside because the yeah. guy on the, the right fullback was playing him on. Mm hmm. Um, he, nice finish. Then West Ham got back into it a bit. I thought um, the players for I thought Bowen had a really good game for them. Gave uh, Burn a torrid time. I thought yeah. Declan Rice was superb, and I thought Paqueta, he, That's the best I've seen him play. Mm -hmm. um, but apart from them, the, 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 everyone else was so Aristrian, right? Uh, Nick Pope probably had his worst game for us. Um, he, it's his fault for the goal. He got, he got, got um, let was it Antonio block him, and still came for the ball even though he had been blocked. Uh, good head, and you think, oh, yeah, we're holding on a little bit here. Then uh, obviously we kick off the second half, and within twenty-one seconds, uh, our press does the job. Murphy nicks the ball of a guard, squares, rolls it to uh, Wilson, who's got an empty net to tap it into. And um, West Ham fell apart after that. Um, right, we yeah. got five in the end, but we could have had more. Um, Flapiansky made a good save from <laughs> Murphy. Then he made that terrible error um, with Isak. He was able to just lob it in. Um, I think again, everybody that came on the pitch played well. Even Mankiw made a couple of good tackles. I thought, um, <laughs> I thought, um, Trippier was superb. I thought Joe Linton again, was, was great, and he, he was actually calm in front of goal for a change. Uh, and he yes. took the second goal really well. There lots of nice inter passing. Bruno was superb. Um, yeah, it's just it's just an overall at three one. I thought that result, that scoreline, flattered us after about ten minutes of the second half, and then we just took over. Um, but I think the result was fair enough. Um, it, it, it's I think Willock was superb. I thought Anthony Gordon was good as well when he came on, and it's his tackle that actually led for it to um, Joe Linton's. Second, mm -hmm. uh, making the tackle, keeping it in play. Um, he looks good. I thought Willett was good when he got, when he came on. Murphy had another cracking game. Um, I, I thought uh, attacking third um, throughout the game. I thought we looked dangerous every time we went forward, and we for a change we actually looked like we were going to score a lot of goals, and we did. I mean, yes. I've been saying for weeks that we. We're going to give someone a spanking, and we did it tonight. Um, I thought, apart from a, like a 20-minute patch in the first half, I thought West Ham were pretty poor. Only really three players turned up, Rice, Paqueta, and Bowen. Um, yeah. I think Dan Byrne had his most torrid night of the uh, uh, of the season. Because Bowen, he, he, he couldn't. He couldn't keep with Bowen. Um, yeah. And I think with uh, having the game on Saturday, I wouldn't be surprised if Matt Target starts give uh, Big Dan Byrne uh, a rest. Um, when the team came out, I was a little bit surprised he made some changes. But in his um, pre-match comments, he's saying that, well, we've got three games and six in six days. Um, I said that Willock had a little bit of a hamstring worry after the, the game against Manchester United. It's just a straight swap for, for Isaac. Um, it worked. Just, I mean, <laughs> they've got two 
strikers that are now banging form. It's great. It's great. Uh, Maxi's on form. I mean, you're looking at, what was it? Nearly, was it three games that Maxi's been superb in? Yeah. Yeah, so that's he's normally one good game and then, well, I won't say ten, normally five bat, five average games, but he's been really good in, in, in the last three games. And he's mm-hmm. been not just running at, at the opposition, he's been picking the right pass. He's been setting people up. He's been getting the crosses in. Yeah. Uh, he's just... he. It looks like everything's finally clicked because you see him at the edge of the box, our uh, box as well, defending. It seems like he's 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 owning his defensive duties and, and starting, and he's sort of married them with his attacking flair, so that he's doing doing his defensive work. But he's never going to be as good as Mickey. But at least he's coming back and and being a nuisance for uh, attacking teams. And then going forward, he's that threat that he's always has been. And now he's, now he's getting an end product. Uh, yeah. What's that? Two assists, two games. Yeah. So it, it looks like he's, he's got his confidence back. He's getting a run in the team. I mean, the, the problem that Eddie Howe's got now is that he dropped Isaac and um, Wilson scored two games, brought Isaac goals, brought Isaac on for, was it, 20 minutes and he scored. Who does he yeah. start with on Saturday? Because they're both bang on four. <laughs> Obviously, he starts. I think it starts with Isak on Saturday. Yeah, I think so too. But but I mean, that guy is he's going to be a monster. Um, is it seven goals this season now? Thing I'm is, you look at this. you look at Isak. Give him a full preseason. And yeah. next season he'll be different, different class altogether. Even yeah. Jimmy Redknapp says he's different class anyway. Yeah, he, he is. He's, he's a monster. I mean, he's starting to look like a bit of a bargain. Yeah, um, was, I think going into the game, he's a goal every every hundred and seventeen minutes. Now that will have come down from this because he only played. Was it? 25 minutes in this game. So that average will have gone down. Um, it's what we've been asking for. We were clinical today. I mean, it reminds me a bit of that run we had in from October through to the World Cup where we're actually putting teams to the sword. It was that sort of performance. The big teams were beating. Like Manchester United yeah. beat them. We're beating the big teams, and then we're actually doing a number on the on the, the small teams because it took a couple of it took us a couple of wins before we actually started hammering people. Mm. Um, obviously, because we had the Wolves and the Forest win, then we had the Man United win. Now we've absolutely put uh, West Ham to the sword. Hopefully, we can do the same to Brentford on uh, on Saturday. Then we've got yes. a, uh, a bre- uh, then we've actually got a week's break before we play Aston Villa. Uh, Aston Villa aren't a bad side, but there's nothing to be f- to be scared of there. No, so um, we, we 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 just looked at times we just looked unplayable. Uh, they they couldn't do anything about. We could do what we wanted. Um, yes. The first half, we were quite sloppy with the passing, giving the ball away quite often. But still, uh, West Ham didn't look like scoring till the ball actually went, till we, you know, till you realised that Pope wasn't actually going to get his fist to the ball. Mm. That's the first time they looked like they are going to score. Uh, and they never really looked like it after that. Uh, but they did try and um, say Declan Rice... He, he was superb. Um, I thought Paqueta was good. Bone was good. Um, but the, that's about it. Um, yeah. They, they got a little bit bit niggly as well. With quite mm-hmm. a few tackles flying in. But, um, oh, superb performance. Um, we're getting into... 
getting into the groove just at the right time. Well, I mean, I'll just look at stats set. I mean, Alexander Isak's played 12 games in total, started eight of those games, and he scored seven goals, right? So, technically, he's scoring frequencies every 104 minutes, mm. which is basically one in, one in two, which for a striker is bloody great. Yeah. Um, you it, know, his it, expected it's... XG is 6.05. So I mean, when you when you look at it, his his minutes per goal per goal is getting close to a goal a game. Yeah, very close to a goal a game. It's forty minutes away from a goal a game. Um, uh, um, a, a decent strike will score one in three. The really good ones do uh, one in uh, every other game. So it just shows yeah. how well and how clinical the guy is. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to be, as you said before, it's going to be better when he's had a full preseason. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, he's just going to be a monster. Uh, he is a superstar in the making. But, um, yeah, it's going to be, again, it's just a shame that Man United won. Yes, it is, isn't it? But, That's... But it's a shame because but we've increased our goal difference advantage over them and we pulled three points ahead of Spurs and we've still got another game in hand on them. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's that's the main thing. I mean, Rock the Tune says four wins in a row now, make it five on Saturday. Yeah. 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 Uh, Mag Debate says Mafinho should have scored. How did Emerson stay on the pitch? Well, Murphy should have scored. Yes, I, he hit a straight in my five. opinion. Um, but Emerson, how did he stay on that pitch? I mean, yeah. the foul on Botman, he should have been off for that, surely. I mean, it should have yeah. been a yellow card. It was just, uh, I, it I, don't, been a I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Emerson should have been sent off, says Ian. Yeah, absolutely. Gareth says, Burn was our worst player and Botman's passing was pretty poor, but overall, everyone else oh, fantastic. Wow. I thought Butler's well, wasn't well. Really bad. I don't think it was that bad. Um, His defending was all right as well. I mean, I know he put out for the corner, which led to their goal, but mm. nothing he could do about that. He's just defending yeah. his goal. Uh, defensively, he was solid. Uh, his pass... I think the thing with Botman is we got spoiled in how good his passing can be. So when he has an off day, you notice it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that uh, uh, says... You can't wait to finish work in a couple hours. Go home, watch the replay, then no work till Tuesday. Well, do you know what, Matt? You'll enjoy the game. You'll thoroughly yeah. enjoy it, mate. And um, so, yeah. look, look, Matt, Have if a couple you of drinks, if you get, um, get um, Paul's um, watch along from Toon Review, yeah, uh, um, watch it with that. But uh, he does a, did a really good job. I had it on the background. Does a really good job. Uh, I was oh, going to. Brilliant. I was going to watch it with um, with Paul's um, commentary, but he's about twenty seconds behind this feed that mm. I've got. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit off putting. Gareth so. says Pope also for the goal, but we won. Who cares? Absolutely, yeah. Gareth. But yeah, Pope was poor for that first goal. But not, you know, he's allowed one off game, and I'm sure he, you know he hasn't played that bad all season. Oh. Um. Jack says, what a win, yeah, Tony. Yeah. Absolutely, Jack. Absolutely, mate. I oh, mean, Well done on getting on, uh, joining the Toon Review. What was that, Rolly? I'm saying well done to Jack for joining the Toon Review. Yes, absolutely. Well done, Jack. Sefton says, Brentford next as a Max goal marching on. Yep. Uh, Derek says, noticeable that when Max is good, Burns under huge pressure. Yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's mm -hmm. strange, that. Hmm. Uh, Sefton, we burst their bubble tonight. Yes, we did. <laughs> bubble. We burst it five times. <laughs> that was quite funny because um, this morning um, in one of my news feeds, I had uh, a um, article from the London Evening Standard saying, "Oh, this is how West Cat the Ham can burst Newcastle's bubble." <laughs> so I was thinking, "Yeah, right." <laughs> Where coming, says Aruba. Yes, we are. We're coming to get you. Uh, Patrick, oh, Patrick says, 
Brewster replace Moyes and then keep them up, maybe. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that would yeah, be yeah, they're, they're in real, real. Tr- I mean, everyone in the bottom is in real trouble because it is so tight. Um, yeah, it, it is very, very tight, Rawley, isn't it? It's just, um, yeah, I, I'm just seeing if there's anything. Um, Peter Gold, good evening to you, sir. He says, think I'll pour myself a dram of Deanston 18-year-old after all this whiskey talk. You know what, mate? You do that, mate, and you get yourself a drink. Yeah, and that'll, um, why not? Why not celebrate our great win tonight? And if you're new to the channel, mate, please hit the subscribe. Thank you very much. Uh, Troll says, has Lampard agreed a contract? As far as we know, I think it's very, very close. That's mm-hmm. all we know. It's close at the moment. Um, Marco T, good evening to you. He says, um, what a win. Despite Botman and Byrne playing average, Botman needs to wake up on his passing. Uh, I think you're being a bit harsh on him there. Um, it's, I don't think his passing was that bad. It's just that it has been really good. I mean, it's been exceptional. So when it drops down a little, people notice. Mm-hmm. Um, I yeah. didn't think it was that bad. I think he's had worse games with his passing. Not many. But no, defensively, he's solid. Yeah. yeah. But the, in the first half, everybody's passing was poor. Yeah. Um, if you like what you see, please smash the like. It really does help the channel. So just smash those likes. Thank you very much. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, then please hit the subscribe. Free to do so. Helps the channel grow. And that bell notification tells you when I'm live, have a pre record, or any upcoming shows. Just, um, just get just, to some more comments. Just quickly before you go on, uh, um, Sky Sports News are saying that Frank Lampard is expected to be in charge of Chelsea for the game against uh, Wolves on Saturday. Oh, okay. Uh, Big Dog, good evening to you. He says, Botman's passing was woeful. Another one? Um, I'm not having that. <laughs> uh, Sefton says, way to go, Peter. <laughs> Uh, Marco says Burn needs a rest. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think Burn does need a rest. Um, I would give Target a chance. I would give Target a start on Saturday. In all honesty, um, well, I think they'll have the best of nights tonight. Burn, to be fair, I think they're going to be a few changes for Saturday. Bia says great win, not the best performance, but now on to Brighton. That's the thing, though, Bia. We we've won it, well and truly, but. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest performance, but this is what I was saying earlier. Sometimes it's great when you can win, not by not playing well. That's a sign of a great team. And Eddie Eddie said after the game that it wasn't our best performance, but this time we were clinical. (laughs) And remember, West Ham handed us it on the plate. Yeah. Yeah, Uh, Sefton says, Burn played terrible. Yes, he did, Sefton. Troll says, we won 5-1. Who cares if some players weren't up to standard? Absolutely. We've won the game. But people are right. Burn is awful. <laughs> was awful, says Trolls. Yeah, he was. Right. Not his best game. Bia says, Declan Rice going cheap this summer, especially if they go down. I don't think he'll go Julie cheap. says, that bubble song annoys me. Oh, it does, yeah. doesn't it, Julia? Absolutely. Um, Paul says, top four is in our hands. If we beat Spurs, and I say top four is ours, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Billy. Hi, Billy. Hope you're well. He says, Alf Connor will be turned in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've gone oh. and be happy, will he? Oh, it's quite funny. I mean, uh, oh, way back in the 80s, I uh, went to an FA Cup um, game against um, Tottenham. There's Warren Mitchell, yeah. plays Alf Garn, is actually a big Spurs fan and is paraded around the, <laughs> around the ground. <laughs> uh, oh, well, he just gave him pelters. Um, he, he's, yeah. But yeah, Alf Garnet was really funny. Um, Matt says, I'll definitely be doing that for sure, Rowley. Uh, Derek says, if the referee had given Nemison the yellow, which would have sent him off, Far could look at it, but they can't look at it in normal fouls where no card is shown. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. It's just it's a strange one. Yeah. Uh, Alan says, aye, they're not blowing bubbles. They're mopping them up. <laughs> Uh, Mark Ross says Newcastle's high press is a key to our success. It is absolutely. Um, Eddie Howe did say <clears throat> on Sunday that 
this is a sort of team he's wanted. He's always played this game, but he's never had a team where he's got proper athletes in his team. And he says with yeah. Newcastle, he's got those athletes now and they can play that game. Gary says there could be trouble ahead, lol. Yeah, there could be. Uh, Del Boy. Hey, Del Boy. Hope you're well, mate. Great guy is Del Boy. Absolutely fantastic. Great. He says, big up Tony Newcastle flying. They are, we are Del Boy. We are, mate. And I'll still say, you should win that league. You should win the league. But, you know, it's in your hands, isn't it, mate? Uh, Gareth says, do you both think Moyes will be sat in the morning? Personally, I don't think he will be. I think, no, I I think he keeps his job because they're in European competition. Yes, Chelsea are in European competition. But it's a different ball game with them. But I think because they're doing so well in that conference league, I can't see them sacking Moyes. I think it would be yeah, I, a I silly think mistake. I think he's built up too much credit in the bank with the last two seasons that they've had. Yeah. Um, the other thing is that, and I said it for the last couple of weeks, I don't see the point of changing managers now because there's not enough time for a new manager to come in and do do much. You might get a, a new manager bounce, but that doesn't mean you're going to win the games you get the bounce in. You can play a little bit better. I mean, uh, it was like when Rafa came to us, we immediately started playing better, but we were playing teams at the top, so we're still losing. <laughs> and, and then it gets back to that, oh, God, not again. Um, but um, uh, well, I've got a friend who's a, a season ticket holder at uh, West Ham, and he's convinced that, one, they're going down, which I'm not convinced about, and two is that Moyes will be there till the end of the season. Um, I, I kind of agree with him about Moyes. Yeah, I can't. I can't see. To be fair, I can't see Moyes um, being sacked because they'll want to for the European competition alone. And the thing is, I think, say for instance, if West Ham stay up, even if they finish seventeenth and stayed up, and won the Europa Conference League, I think they may say to Moyes at the end of the season, look. Yes, we've won the European Conference League and you've kept us up, but we want to go a different direction. Yeah. And they might say, look, can you go? They'll, they'll show them the door. And then I think they're going to spend the door at the end of the season, no matter yeah. what. As it is, races run there. <clears throat> Lee says, get in there, Tony and Rowley. What a result that's been coming for a while. Great results away. Yeah, absolutely. You're absolutely spot on, mate. And it's uh, been absolutely brilliant. Uh, Big Dog says, our passing hasn't been great for a lot of games this season, but our form's papered over the cracks. I think our passing's been quite great in games. It's just sometimes yeah. we just haven't been too clinical, but tonight we were clinical, and that's the main part about mm. it. We were clinical tonight. We were a little bit sloppy. I mean, <clears throat> We have been a bit sloppy tonight, but if you put yeah, the pass um, aside... Yeah. It's the clinical side we've been tonight, and that's what's more important, being clinical. Uh, and I, I'll say that I'd only say there's only uh, there's, there's, there haven't been that many games when well passing has been bad. Um, we're a bit sloppy against Liverpool. Um, we've had a few draws where it's been sloppy, but I think overall, um, I think the pass has been pretty tidy. Yeah, I, I, I think so too. I mean, you know, um, I mean. Paul's, Paul's exactly right. He says, I still can't believe 28 games in, we've only lost three. Exactly, Paul, that's the thing. And, you know, it's... Do you know what? I, like I said to you earlier on, and I said on the show earlier on, I couldn't care if we'd won that game 1-0 tonight and it was a 92nd minute goal and it come off the off, um, Fabianski's arse and went in the goal. I couldn't care if we'd only won it 1-0 because we'd won the game, we got the three points. That's what it's about. How many times did Arsenal and Del Boy's in the chat and he'll tell us but when Arsene Wenger had that invincible season, I think when they went 49 games unbeaten, a lot of the time Arsenal were only winning those games 1-0 and they had that tag of boring, boring Arsenal but it wasn't the fact they were being boring, it was the fact was they were picking up the three points in every game by winning 1-0 and it, it's a tactic that word for Arsene Wenger at the time so yeah. You know, it, it for people, you know, so at the end of the day, 
sometimes it doesn't matter about the performance. You can win ugly. That's what I'm trying yeah. to see. You can win ugly. I mean, we're, we're, and we're still pick the, up the points, and there's nothing wrong with that. We're at the stage of the season where the result is more important than the performance because mm -hmm. we've had the performances early in the season that gives the confidence to be able to win ugly and get us in the position we are now. Now we're at the business end. We win out. Uh, we win out there, or um, when we're in the Champions League. Um, we've got yeah. a lot. Still got, mm -hmm. was it um, ten games left? Mm -hmm. um, another six six wins uh, uh, yeah. uh, should be enough to get us the Champions League. Yeah, Derek says Botman's passing was awful. His exceptional passing is always passing sideways, not forward. Um, but then Julie that. said, "Harsh on Botman. I think he made some important clearances. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think you are being harsh." Troll says. Great to have teams that's on fire, absolutely. It's all down to the finishing, says Derek. Yeah, it is tonight. Buzzing this sexy Max has left. God's sake. Um, Alan says, I think we played well enough. Never felt threatened by West Ham. Not at all, no. They had that spell, but after that, I think we just controlled the game. Mm -hmm. Coffee says, hi, Tony Rowley and all. Hi, I like coffee. Yeah. Um. Billy says, that bubble song is horrific, but not as bad as when Michael Jackson sung it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. Oh, God, Billy, yeah, definitely. Uh, Coffee says, I predicted 5 nil, so I was close. Hey, I'll tell you what, you were close, Coffee. I mean, I yeah. said 3-1, but you said 5 nil, didn't you? So, yeah. Um, Del Boy says, ah, the two are going to get the top four, I reckon. Go final, put Newcastle off the boil. But they're steaming yeah. along now. Do you know what, Del? You're absolutely right, mate, Del yeah. boy. I mean, that was the thing I always said. The cup was the distraction for us, and yeah. it was the distraction we didn't really want. And um, but you know, the thing is, and and I've said this before on previous shows, and after the cup final, I said, right, next season, if we're in this position again and we get the Carabao Cup final, I want to see the players. Put the Carabao Cup final to the back of their minds. Forget about it. Concentrate on the league form. Concentrate on what we're doing in the league. And then concentrate when you get to the final. But don't concentrate until you get that final. But put it to the back of your mind. And I think we'll learn by you learn by that as players. And if we did get the final next season, the Carabao Cup, I think you'll see a totally different um, outlook on the um, on the games before we get to the uh, cup final. I, th I think it's um, it's understandable how um, they couldn't get keep it at the back of their minds because when you look at the team and you look at where we were, no one mm -hmm. was expecting to get there. So it, yeah. when you, when you look at the celebrations after the the semi final. Is almost like we're happy to be at the final, and we can't wait to get there. And we still have more games to play, um, rather than oh, you do try to do a game at a time, but it's hard when you're excited about a cup final because I think it's just about everybody. It's their first cup final, yeah. Um, and we weren't expected to be anywhere near it, so. It's understandable that it got to them. But if we get back to a final next season, it's not new. We've been there before. We now just mm -hmm. need to get the get the performance right so that we can actually win it. Yeah. I mean, we, Paul says Wilson, we, we weren't clinical. Yeah. No. Wilson, the season 16 starts 10 goals. Exactly. Mm. Uh, Clarky, good, good evening to you. He says, fucking yes, guys. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Absolutely. We're buzzing, aren't we? Coffee said, was that rain in London or tears of some of the Man United fans? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It could have been a mixture of both of it. Uh, John looks different. John? Um, Sefton says, Tony's channel looks brilliant on my cinema wall TV. Massive screen. <laughs> Excellent, Sefton. Thank you very much indeed, mate. Uh, trolls. Um, 
Coffee says, Isak putting his hand on his hips before the ball could cross the line was classy, yes, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Just, I mean, you know, that's that's just great shithousery. Uh, Clocky, Trolls, is there any Newcastle forum you're not on? <laughs> if you're new at the channel, Clocky, please hit that subscribe, mate. That'd be great. Thank you. Uh, Niall says, big up, lads. Great result for the tune. Absolutely, Niall. Absolutely, mate. Uh, welcome tonight. Uh, yeah, one. <laughs> says Trolls. Uh, I think I know which. Says Coffee. Um, Black and my TV should sell merchandise saying photographs of me, says Sefton. <laughs> Sefton, are you really that famous? <laughs> I'm joking, mate. I'm joking, by the way. Uh, Clarky says, anyone see all the bubbles on the pitch when we scored our third? Was it was it bubbles or was it West Ham's tears? <laughs> 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 so, yeah, it's just crazy, isn't it? I like coffee. Uh, Paul says, no one's seen Trippier's pass to set up the fifth goal or shares pass to set up the second goal. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I said, our passing has been really good, especially the one touch passing is key. The stats support that. Yes, they do. Yeah, absolutely, mate. 100% correct. 100% correct. Um, Gary says, how many seasons more at West has Moyes been at West Ham? Um, he's been there a few years, hasn't he? But four or five, something like that. He's been there a few years, mm-hmm. yeah. But maybe the luck's run out now, you know. Um, maybe it's time mm-hmm. for Moyes to go, but I'm not interested because it's not my team, so I don't care. <laughs> Let them decide for that. Uh, Clark, he says, well, How was Rashford not offside? I've not seen the goal, he says, so. no, neither of that offside is bullshit. No one could get to him. I, I, I haven't seen the goal, Clark, but I will have a look afterwards. Uh, Ian says, I think you've had too many whiskey, Sefton. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, Ian, right? Sefton asked for a nickname. And then Jake, in the preview show, uh, the build-up show, said, what about sexy Sefton? Uh, or sexy Mag? So sefton it's gone to his head, Ian. And and now he thinks he's a sex icon, you know? Oh. Um He's a global icon now, you see. And, yeah. Um, but, yeah. But just just don't get the Donald Trump territory you mind there, Sefton. <laughs> Maybe I'll get into trouble for saying that, but never mind. Uh, Coffee says, West Ham have a good team, but I think their problem is they're unorganised. I mean, they've been... Because there are parts of that game where they actually look quite good. And they did cause us a bit of trouble. But for most of the game, they were shocking. Yeah. Derek says, I think you're on about Simpsons Gunners 1 0 to the Arsenal. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Let's mm. like Guy says, Clark, you thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, still think West Ham will stay up, says Ian. Yeah, yeah I do as right. well. I think they're three te- you- at least three teams worth. Mm-hmm. Uh, Julie Lafferty's coming about Michael Jackson. Yeah. Southampton, there's Leicester. Uh, and probably um, Everton are going to get points stopped. Mm. I hope do, so. Yeah, definitely. Um, Lee says, I think Eddie could get Manager of the Month award. Yeah, he could do. Yeah. Troll says, I hope West Ham's still up, to be honest. I think they will do. Hmm. Uh, Clark, he says, Tune review hit 18k today. Let's help this channel hit 500. Yeah, thank you very much indeed, Clarky. Thank lucky. you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm 32 away now from uh, 500. So if you haven't yet subscribed, then please smash that subscribe. It really would help. Thank you very much. Um, Sefton says 12 fire bottom. It's difficult to call. Absolutely, it's so tight down there. Troll says we have two players with double digits. When was the last time we had that? Yeah, that's a good point, Trolls. Do you know what? That is a fantastic point. I mean, yes. God, I, do you know what? I can't remember. But I'm sure somebody in the chat will come up. Um, Clark, he says, Trolls, I'm hoping for a blowy tonight, but dreams don't always come true. 
<laughs> oh my god. Uh, big dog. John Slaclair will be buzzing my new one as well. <laughs> um never give up on your dream clock, he says. <laughs> uh, trolls. Already submit. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Patrick says, think we could be back the Champions League. Oh my god. Yeah, that's yeah. great, isn't it? Uh, Gareth says, got to score shortly, but see you both soon. Yeah, no yeah. worries, mate, no worries. We've got about another 10 minutes, and then we'll be wrapping up. Uh, Clark, he says, missed that common coffee. <laughs> Trolls. Um, technically on, st- on site, but still a shit rule. <laughs> uh, Lee says, Moise has been there since 2017. So that's six years. Sefton says, please hit that like button and subscribe and also bell notification for upcoming shows. Thank you very much indeed, Sefton. Ian says, just seeing Rashford go on match of the day, not offside. It wasn't offside. Uh, Bia says, David Mouse looks like my nan. She couldn't manage a football team either. <laughs> <laughs> um, Julie says, I call Moyes the Scottish Skeletor. <laughs> 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 Oliver B. Hi, mate. Hope you're well. He says, Hope best time go down. Moise, what a joke. <laughs> yes, and he took Sunderland down, didn't he? Yeah. Well, um, we've, got, we've got to thank him for that. <laughs> yeah. Oliver says, If we beat Brentford, we get top four. Well, we'll be well on my way to top four, that's for sure. Yeah. I think the thing about it now, right, I want to get top four, but I kind of want to get third. Not fourth. Yes. Well, do you know what? A few weeks ago, or was it? No, it was only a couple of weeks ago, sorry. I think it was after... It was after the Wolves game. And I think it was when I'd done the review on the Monday. Or I did some sort of, uh, some sort of show on the Monday. I can't remember if it was a review or the transfer show. I can't remember which one it was now. But anyway, whatever show it was, and I remember saying to Pete, where do you think we'll end up? And I come out and said third, and Pete looked at me and said, that's a bit brave, isn't it? And I went, well, yeah, I'm sticking my neck out, yeah, Pete, but I did say we could finish third. But you look at it now and you think, do you know what? <laughs> that wasn't a daft comment because yeah. it was a... That was just what I was thinking because I was looking at the fixtures of what we've got and of what the rest of the teams have got, like the Tottenham, Man United, and Brighton, and so on, and looking at their fixtures and thinking, we could actually finish third here. And I always said the key was if we beat Man United. Yeah, I think that was key. And we beat them. But the three most important games at home against that so called Big Six, we've already beaten one of them. We've got Tottenham to come next, followed by Arsenal. So we beat them too. We should we should finish top four no problem, and we should finish probably third no problem. Because yeah, um, Manchester United, though they won tonight, they are ve- very inconsistent. Yeah, and like somebody said on the previous show tonight on the Build Up Live, I think it was Alan. I think it was Alan McTia, but what he said was, um, "Our goal difference alone should be worth an extra point." Oh, there yeah, he's, he's right. Because we, we've, I mean, we had. Was it two? Oh, I don't see. Just get it. Just have a look. Plus twenty six is our goal difference. So I think we've got plus twenty six. Yeah. So our goal difference is twenty one better than Man United, mm-hmm. and fourteen better than Tottenham. So it is yeah. as good as an extra point. Derek says, West Ham caused us problems all night, mainly down our awful passing, but Rice will keep them up. I think he will, yeah. Mm. Uh, Clark, he says, I know, not offside technically, but standing well offside and getting the ball in the second phase with defenders well being is bullshit, in my opinion. Yeah, it's a bit poor, isn't it? Mm. Uh, Oliver says, a point of filler and a win at Brentford would be amazing. Do you know what? That's not a bad shout, that, Oliver. Yeah. That's not a bad shout. I prefer, a, I prefer a win at Brentford and a win at Villa myself, but... yeah. But the, the form we're in, that's not out of the question. Yeah. Um, 
Sefton says you can find us on our website at northwestmags.com. Yeah, check northwestmags.com out. It's a great website set up by Sefton. Um, I'm on there in the podcaster section as well, so go and check it out. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, and if you want to hear some terrible singing, there's a little clip of me singing at the tram me again, before the tram me again uh, <laughs> under the stands. Uh, I'm not sure what I think it's E I E I E I O. I think <laughs> it's either that or we've got Bruno in the middle, but it's yeah. I will not be held responsible for any damage to your ear trumps. <laughs> Oliver says, "How does Miggy get back into this team?" That's that's the that's the great thing about it, though, Oliver. The great thing is we got competition for places, and that's what we want. And you've got to create that competition. Like tonight, Wilson hasn't played a lot, but he's come in tonight and scored two goals. That's laying a statement down to say, "Look, I'm still here. You stop me, and I'm going to make sure." I... And and Wilson's probably thought, "Right, I'm starting. I'm going to take this chance." And it's exactly what I've been saying. When you're in a starting, when you get a starting place, you want to try and keep a hold of that shirt and keep that shirt on your back, and that's exactly what Wilson said tonight. He's now thrown down the gauntlet to Eddie Howe to say, "Right, what are you going to do Saturday?" And we wait and see. Um, we'll say the good thing about it in this thing, we we it reminds uh, Murphy reminds me of, of how he's come on. Reminds me of Emil Craft last season when. Trippier were injured. Everyone was dreading Kraft playing. <laughs> and he played really, really well. Then, yeah. obviously, with Miggy being injured, Murphy's been thrown in. And he's playing really, really well. <laughs> he's playing some of his best football for us at the moment. He, he looks dangerous every time. He, he's unlucky not to score. Um, it's a good, decent save with uh, by Fabianski. Possibly could have put it a little bit further away from him. But if he does that, he'll hit, he'd probably have hit the post. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, Gary right. says, you got all your followers back on Twitter? I mean, yes, I have. I think it was just a Twitch, uh, Twitch, a glitch on uh, Twitter. So it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, Coffee says, think all the West Ham players are letting Moyes down. Could be. Uh, Sefton says, we had the same coffee with Bruce, yeah. Nice to see target comeback, says Coffee. Yeah. yeah, definitely, mate. Chelsea under Lampard should be beatable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Clark, he says, looks like, man, you got a bit lucky. Um, just watching the replay now. Brentford had chances. Yeah. Uh, Patrick says, he backed Zuma after the cat vid and lost my respect. Yeah. That's the thing. He, he, a lot happened that way, didn't it? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, Coffee says, after seeing race, do you think he's a potential summer target? Do you know what? I would take him. I'd take um, him, but I, it's a case of where he wants to go. Yeah, and if he wants to stay in London, then there's no chance he'll come up north, that's mm. for sure. Um, well, to be fair, Isak took his chance too, said Charles. Yes, he did, absolutely. Harry, Harry Azarak around the world. Harry, I've not seen you for a while, mate. Where you been? Great to see you here. He says, great to see the 10 diehard West Ham fans stay back right at the end and boo their side up. Eddie House packs burst the bubbles. Well said, Harry. Well said, mate. Absolutely. Nice to see you back on the channel, mate. LA Coffee says, Mafinho tried to volley the keeper from 60 yards. He's getting closer yeah. to what I want to see. Didn't he try that a couple of times? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It shows the confidence everyone's got at the club at the moment. Sefton says, I love that song on our website. Rolly and plenty more meetups forthcoming. All right, so. Derek, Derek says, no one can become complacent now. Every place apart from centre-back is up for grabs. Even then, Byrne can play there. Yeah, he can. Yeah. Derek says, I'd break the bank for race. Yeah, I'm absolutely. I'd break the bank, but I'd be, be prepared to pay a fair penny for him. Alan says, Defo, Tony, competition for places is what we need, absolutely. Yeah. Harry Let's says, great result tonight. Me and them proud returns to making sure we beat Brentford on Saturday, try and cement our place in the top four more than it already is, absolutely. And I mean, the thing is, as I said on the show earlier, we had to win this game. We needed to win this game tonight because if we didn't, it would be like a case of after the Lord Mayor show. So... 
we haven't had that and we went on and won the game, which is exactly what we had to do. And uh, absolutely. Troll says 60 yards. Uh, Wilson tried a 1-2. Yeah, he did. Uh, Derek says Murphy and Wilson tried to volley the keeper. Wilson very close. Yeah, he was mm-hmm. absolutely. Um, but you know, it's it's been a great it's it's been great. And I'm going to bring up the Premier League table on screen for you as well, um, which I think you know. All in all, um, right? If you just bear with me, I'll get that up now for you. The uh, Premier League table and. Uh, you can draw the table. So just bear with me. Um, so here's the table coming up. Looks good, oh, doesn't it? The table. So but we're only eleven. Brilliant, the table. We're only eleven points behind Man City. <laughs> Not that far away, are we? So, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's just great to look at that table. Um, you know, uh, 26 plus goal difference. Um, you know, 114 drew 11, lost three, scored 46, yeah, conceded 20. Three, still got the lowest, still got the best defense in the league, and yeah. um, he st- and Nick Pope is still ahead by one clean sheet of uh, over Ramsdale. So he's still in line for the Golden Glove, Nick Pope, at the end of the season. And yeah. um, I'd love to see Nick Pope in the Golden Glove because yeah. that would just be the icing on the cake. Um, yeah. but as you can see, the table there, yeah. Absolutely fantastic, isn't it? And it's good to see that we've, got, we've now got that little gap between us and Spurs. We've still got a game in hand on them. And they still got to come to our place. And that should put them out of the top four race. So you look at that and you think, we beat Brighton, that's 56 points. We beat Spurs, that's 59. That, that's, that's Spurs well and truly out of it, isn't it? Yeah. But I think when you look at Liverpool now, they're on 43, they're 10 points outside the zone. I can't oh. see Liverpool meeting Champions League. No, I can't. We're too ins- inconsistent. Yeah. We're 10 points ahead of Liverpool now. Yeah, I, d- I, don't know if you game, I don't know if you saw the game against um, Chelsea last night. They were awful. Um, Chelsea end. should really have won that game, but I'm glad they didn't. At the bottom end, West Ham have conceded 39 goals this season, including the 5 to eight. Yeah, so they've still got the best goal difference of the uh, mm. the teams on twenty seven points. Yes, um, they have. Yeah, um, but it's so so tight down there. Um, yeah, I mean, Crystal Palace aren't out of it on thirty points because they're only three points away from the drop zone. Right, their goal difference I mean, is pretty decent compared to it's the others. So- it's so silly if you think about it. If Bournemouth were playing tomorrow and they got a draw, it would actually be fifteenth. Do you know what I mean? That's how tight mm-hmm. it actually is. It's just crazy. Yeah, a draw shoots you up the table. It's... Yeah, exactly. It takes you out the relegation zone. But yeah, yeah. I'm just but hoping just that of... Bournemouth and Forest can survive because it'll be the first season that all three uh, promoted uh, sides have actually survived. From the footballs that I can remember, so that'd be good, but yeah, I think, I think Leicester and Southampton are pretty much nailed on, and then the next mm-hmm. place, I think a lot of it will depend on whether Everton get points deducted. If they do, they'll be the third team to go down, yeah. Um, but that's not that's not guaranteed. It's not gar- it, they may get points deducted, but it's not guaranteed that it'll be this season. Though the Premier League seem to think that they'll have it sorted, but there'll be yeah. an appeal process. We don't know how long that's going to take. So they appeal. Yeah. Uh, 
Stefan says, please hit the like button and subscribe. How are the lads? Thank you very much. Coffee says, when the West Ham fans started leaving, you could see Klopp's teeth in the stands. <laughs> oh, you mean the white seats? Uh, Troll says, 53 points is just amazing. Absolutely. Derek says, drool, drool. Um, brilliant. Troll says, Sefton. Coffee says, how many points do you think we need to secure top four? I think it's going to be about 70, 70, between 70 and 72. So about another four or five wins even. Mm-hmm. Indeed, Sefton. Patrick says, we can beat Spurs at St. James. It's absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Can. We, can, we can thump them like we did West Ham at St. James's. They're not a good side. They're, they're, they... We've got a very good striker. Okay, mm. but the rest of it, we, we, you saw what we did to them at uh, um, the Tottenham Stadium. Yes, um, we tore them apart in the first half. Uh, we let them back in a bit of the second, but uh, I mean they've, they've been. I mean they were awful against Everton. I mean awful. If Everton had any sort of striker, they would have beaten them. But they don't. Derek reckons 70 to be certain, but 68 should do it. Yeah, it's going to be in that sort of range. Uh, Sefton says, who would like to see my photo of Tony's next show? Comments below. Mm, nope. <laughs> it better be clean, Sefton. Yeah. We don't uh, want any says, uh, kinky stuff on. Yeah. So uh, the third highest scoring team in the Premier League yet. Yeah. Clark, he says, I'm not sure she is. <laughs> uh, Harry says, I'd love it if both Newcastle and Britain made Champions League ahead of Spurs and Man U. Uh, do you know what? That would be absolutely fantastic, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, Brighton uh, came in hand in us. Uh, yeah. At what time, Sefton? Clark, he says, I'm watching instead. I'm watching this instead, he says. Uh, Troll says, just asking so I can avoid being here. Uh, <laughs> about um, Sefton's photo. Um, that's even if it makes it, Trolls, because it, be, it, it, it may be before the watershed and I can't put it on. <laughs> um, Alan says, add that goal difference point because you need one more point as equal is not good enough. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that, that's one of the brilliant things because our Goal difference is so good that it is like an extra point. Mm. What's the horse name? Um, right, hang on then. I'll take this banner off. There you go. So that's my name there, Tony. And Rory is my co-host there. So there you go, Clarky. There you go, mate. That's my name there. Uh, Derek says... Um, how we are the lads? Yeah. Uh, Clark, he says, Klopp's teeth. <laughs> uh, Jack says, 5 1 win versus Fairy Liquid FC. Not bad. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I love it, Jack. Well said, mate. Well said. Goodness. I'm going to start your comment. That's brilliant. Uh, Troll says, Spurs live, live on Kane and Son. Yeah, they do. Harry says, <clears throat> Spurs, Arsenal, Leicester and Brighton are all remaining, are remaining home fixtures. Yeah, and do you know what? You look at, I mean, we, we've beat Arsenal at home before, so we could beat them. But if you look at the ones we should beat, uh, Spurs, Leicester and Brighton, we should beat those. And remember, Harry, throw Southampton in there because they've still got to come to St. James's Park as well. Uh, Troll says, if there's sun, you can see the shame from Crocs teeth a mile away. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a reflection in it. That would be great, Harry. Harry says our match against Spurs on the 23rd is going to be absolutely massive, especially if we create a much wider gap than mm. there currently is between now and then. Yeah, absolutely, Harry. Yeah. And he says, Tony, thank you. Yeah, no worries, mate. How are you, the lad? Says Clarky. Yeah. <coughs> um. So, yeah, guys, we'll come to the end of the show now. Um. But uh, it's been a fantastic night. And again... Three more points in the bag, and 
those three extra points to keep us up in that top four and, uh, you know, keep us motoring forward um, till the end of the season. Derek says, yeah, the bubbles were still there from the second half entrance when we scored our third. <laughs> and Charles says, great show. Thank you very much. Thanks, so, Rolly, do you want to let people know where they can find you? You can find me on Twitter at Paul67. Thank you very much. Gary says, Tony, have you seen Daisy the Dancing Cow on the Tune Review? Yeah. No, why was that on t- was that on tonight, was it? Yeah, um, because of the wind was so good, um, Paul put Daisy the Dancing Cow on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good show, guys. Thank you very much Thank indeed, you, Clarky. You. Uh, Harry says, excellent result, excellent stream. Hit the thumbs up and how are you, the lads? Thank you very much Thank indeed, Harry. Harry. Thank you. Patrick, applause. Thank you very much, matey. Um, Patrick's came over from Pete's channel. Uh, Ian says, thanks, Tony and Rolly. Great show. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Harry says, take care, Roll. Yeah, you Thank too, you. mate. You take care. <clears throat> Being fantastic tonight, says Lee. Absolutely. Oh, I'll feel seeing all brilliant show from Tony and Rolly. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe on your way out. Fourth of May, fourth government. Tony Shaw says, Sefton. Oh, that's a point. As I've said, Sefton, it better be clean, mind Sefton, because I, I won't show it if it's not clean. Because children do watch this channel, you know, and it's not really a great look for children if you're in a mankini, is it? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, I wish I hadn't said I'd to keep that image out of my mind. <laughs> I just thought I'd give you that thought before you go to bed today, Rolly, and you mate. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Mate. <laughs> uh, Jack says, Brentford's going to be a lot tougher, but can't wait. It is going to be tougher, but again, it's no reason why we can't get the three points, Jack. Especially if we're on being clinical like this. Night, Jack. Derek says, great show, Tony, night, you night. Thank you very much, Derek. Uh, thumbs up, lad, says Alan. Thank you very much, Alan. Night, Ian, and to, uh, Jack says, great show tonight, lads. Yeah, thank you very oh, much indeed, Jack. We've got the after um, team photo out on Facebook. I don't know if you've got, a ta- got time to put it on screen. I can do, yeah. So we uh, like the after win photos. Yeah, we do, don't we? Yeah, so guys, don't don't leave the chat yet. Um, I'm going to pop something on screen for you. Um So, just bear with me. There you go. There you go, guys. You have to win photo. It's always worth seeing. It is indeed, isn't it? I've had so many of them as well. It's great. <laughs> yeah, we have, haven't we? Yeah. Um, just well, I never get tired of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, t- Jack says, enjoy it. Thank you very much indeed, yeah. Jack. I'll have to get you on this channel one day, Jack, as well. Uh, take care. Tony and Rowley says, trolls, absolutely. Uh, Clark, he says, I was going to... Wa- I was going to come on next week freshly shaved with my mankini off, for God's <laughs> sake. Started something now, haven't I? Oh, <laughs> Coffee's hiding his eyes. Oh, Bye, Tony Roddy and all says coffee. Thank you. Bye. Coffee. Ian's laughing as well. Uh, brilliant team fought the highway of the lads. Yeah. Joe says to Clark. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we always have a laugh on here, don't we? Yeah. Uh, Jack says, the way people have been saying that we're over celebrating with team fought us, but little do they know what every, that we, uh, little do they know we do that every win. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, we do it every win. It's there's nothing wrong with it. It's nothing wrong with it. It just shows togetherness in the squad. Yeah, uh, and I think a lot of teams that uh, supporters are jealous because their team didn't think of it. And if you think after the last last season when we did our first one, I think when we done one last season, Leeds all of a sudden started copying Leeds United. So. Yeah. You know, it did it did get on, didn't it? But it's uh, not, yeah, like, not just Julia the after, after win photos. It's the war flags. People are trying to copy that as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, some are trying to copy it, but their <laughs> flags look shit because that's what happens when you buy them from Wish, doesn't it? You know. 
But guys, if you like what you see, then please smash the like. So if you haven't smashed that like yet, smash that on the way out. That would be great. Thank you very much. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, then please hit the subscribe. Free to do so. It helps the channel grow. And bell notification tells you when I'm live, I have a pre-record or any upcoming shows. You can find me on Tony Tony 31 on Twitter. Follow me and I'll follow you back. I'm also under the name handle on the same handle on Twitch at Tony Tony 31. Um, you know when we channel this because you're on it now. Um, Jack says I'll be totally down with coming on, Tony. Oh, nice one, Jack. We'll sort that out, mate. Thank you very much. Uh, Clark, he says, Great show, keep it up. I'll try and get here more often. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah, please do. Please yeah. check out any other videos. I've got some great stuff on there. I've had Junior yeah. Turner on here twice. He's a great guy. Night all. As well, is it? Keep the dream. Eh? Is it Chris Doby, the darts player you had on as well? Yes, I've had Chris Doby on. I've had Andrew Musgrove on. Hmm. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Sefton says, Night all, keep the dream. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, not the dream that I've just mentioned about you, Sefton. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although Rowley's got the image in his head now and he can't No, get no, out, I so. managed to keep it out, but you're trying to force it in. <laughs> it's the power, Rowley. It's the power. <laughs> I'm sending the vibes to Liverpool. <laughs> oh, it's a good job I'm in Birkenhead then, so I missed them. <laughs> Mason said he's had a man new fan on as well. Uh, Clark, he says, I'll have a look and give you some likes and comments in a minute. Thank you very much, mate. And yeah. Julie says, good night all. Good night good to night. you, Julie. Have a nice evening. Yeah, yeah it's going to have to be a good night for me as well because yeah. I've got to get up at five o'clock in the morning. Jesus. Yeah. And, uh, but it's all right because tomorrow is Friday. No, I know it's Thursday tomorrow and you're going to say, hang on, it's not it's Thursday. But to me, it's Friday. Because I've got the long weekend off. So that's why I say tomorrow is Friday for me. Because my weekend starts after half past four tomorrow. Excellent. And I bloody can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mason says, the man you found is Sinclair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Clark, he says, can we give a shout out to my small sauce? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Um, it's Friday, Tom. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, uh, happy Easter Friday. Absolutely. That's why I'm looking forward to tomorrow because I'm off for four days after that. Lovely. The joys of having the Easter. And then there's three, day, three bank holidays in May because we have the coronation as well. So, yeah, hey, it's all great. It's all great. It's all great. But uh, guys, uh, thank you for joining tonight. And... Um, on what's been a fantastic day for Newcastle United. Third still in the Premier League. Still ahead on goal difference from Man United. Three points ahead of Tottenham. Um, as Yazoo and the plastic population once said, the only way is up. Yeah. And that is exactly what it is. The only way is up, baby. Because Newcastle are third and they are staying there. And believe me, we will still be there at the end of the season. Let's hope anyway. Yeah. But until then, and I'll see you on the next show. It's bye-bye from me. And it's bye-bye from me. And have a good evening. Bye-bye, guys. Have you the lads. Oh.